This may be a little nuts and I have to do some research before I do it. CQDX 309 Central Iowa, standing by. Come on in here, 309, 605 pointed right at you. What's up guys, Corey the Random Guy here. Normally, I don't make videos during the week. However, I had to make this. For we begin, I want, I want you guys to keep continuing to liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting, Thumbs up, thumbs down, hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss anything else. You guys are doing phenomenal on helping this channel grow. Thank you very much to everybody. With that out of the way, first of all, wife is out here tending to her garden. Look at that okra, yum. So anyway, I'm making this video today on response to a comment that I got. Why don't I make a full wave loop antenna? Hey, I'm all up for experiments. You guys know this. The thing is, somebody asked, what do you want him to make it? vertical or horizontal i replied why not both i might have a plan and some of you on here who have been doing this shit forever comment below and let me know if i'm planning on doing this wrong but my plan is to take this little guy that already has a little element coming out of it hooking this up to the 36 foot long wire now we all know that 36 foot long wire is a full wave for the 11 meter band. We all know this. 18 feet is half wave. You guys do the math. We already said that we're gonna put the element here, 36 foot long. Well, this little part here, you guys can see, I'm gonna ground that. And then I'm gonna hook a coax up to it and we're gonna go from there. Now, there's one problem. I don't know how a loop antenna radiates. I don't know if it sits like this, if it radiates this way, this way, up, sideways down i mean it doesn't i don't know <laughs> i don't know and another thing if it's laying horizontal what will it do so i'm going to do a little bit of research on that first before i do anything with this antenna but it will come because as i've said you guys know i love experimenting whether it screws stuff up or not this basically will show you what not to do so that you guys don't blow up your equipment again i want to thank everybody for helping this channel grow you guys are doing phenomenal show them the peas that are on the mm. we have peas all right and uh the wife wants me to show you guys peas i'll give you a little bit of a garden tour hope you enjoy there's okra not sure what that is lakota uh, lakota what's that that's a squash oh squash okay cabbage cabbage Peppers. Peppers. There's nothing here yet. Water or cucumbers. Cucumbers. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Cantaloupe. Okay. Peas. All right. And then snap peas. Snap peas. It's in these buckets over here. These are peppers. Those ones there. Yep. Okay. Those are more peppers. Okay. That is sage. Sage. Nothing there. in these two. I don't know what's in there. Okay. And then you come around here. And I'll show you guys the antennas here in just a second. I'm not sure what all these are, but these are our viney fruits. All right. And then that over there is our asparagus that I let grow so it could seed this year. And then next year we pluck it. Nice. The wife with the green thumb. She makes damn good groceries. <laughs> and here's the antenna setup. You guys can see this one is on AM. It's on the 29 LTD, Cobra 29 LTD. Oh, we forgot potatoes and onions. Potatoes and onions. Potatoes and onions. Oh, yes. Potatoes and onions right there. <laughs> Yum. It's making me oh, hungry. And that's a sunflower. This one here? Yep. That right there, the big thing that's right there. That's a sunflower. Nice. Cool. For sunflower seeds. All right. And then, of course, the old. A99 sitting up there nice and happy. That one is on the sideband radio. Before you guys ask, no, I don't really have a back feed issue. I just shut one radio off and yeah, it will make the meter move on the other radio. I'll just show you. Skip is rolling like no other on the AM and the sideband. Let me show you, turn this one off. I'll go ahead and go to a different channel. Audio test, one, two, audio test, one, two. You guys seen how the meters moved <laughs> well i am not really worried about it but that's what i do i shut one radio off that i'm going to transmit or the radio that i'm transmitting on i will shut the other one off and it's the same way with the cobra if i want to transmit on it i will shut off the amp and the uh, unit in this way there's no issues with receive or anything like that i do need to get these radios more separate but you know with the lack of space that i've got well it's just gonna have to do for now anyway i hope you guys enjoyed 
and I hope you guys learned something, and we will see you guys later.